Greetings. Today we'll be viewing a 2 verse 2 on the map Titan's Beach. It is, I'm pretty sure, between myself and Twilight versus Setton and Magpie. Move him up here somewhere. So in the top left, we have myself, um, bottom left we have Twilight, top right is Setin, bottom right is Magpie. Let's speed this up a bit. We've got Setin going with a storage first, Magpie getting some energy under his belt, Twilight's also getting a bit of energy, and looks like I started uh, with a storage and a solar as well. Alright, so right now it looks like, let me move my mic a bit closer, we have Setin starting vehicles, it's a pretty good choice, you do have access to amphibious units, um, you could also do stuff with transports to bring non-amphibious units to the other coast, looks like I'm starting with an aircraft plant, uh, it'll really help to grab all these reclaimables as well as maybe establish a hold on the island there. Oh wow, <laughs> that just looks funny. <laughs> um, we have Magpie just getting some energy, he's probably doing an air start and getting all his energy ready. I've got a bee going out, a couple bees going out to grab some reclaimables. Looks like Twilight's getting his vehicle plan up as well. So with the bees, yeah, I'm just going around. I'm trying to grab all their rocks first. Um, you know, if I can grab their reclaimables, then <laughs> that's that's a bit of metal they won't have. So I think a couple of those were nice rocks. It's what, 75, 50... Probably about two, three hundred metal. It's not bad. Get a um, shot out of the air by Magpie there. Did get some early intel though. He's just starting his aircraft plant. We've got Setin making some solars up here. Uh, I am getting a some early line of sight and in intel with that with that radar. Not too much, but I am getting Dragon Eyes up on their side. And his commander's probably going to shoot my B out of the air. Coming in, um, was trying to get a bomber, bomber rush in to get rid of that airplane. I did manage to get rid of a few of his Bs, which was really nice. Um... You know, it's not like huge metal spent, but those are bees. That's build power he doesn't have now. So really, we're just kind of working on resources at this point. Um, pretty much everybody. Twilight setting up, setting up some defenses to help against um, both ships and air. Here, this jellyfish will. Help keep you keep him in the water. It'll get rid of any subs, anything like that, and it's also great for just lighter naval as well. They do go down pretty quick, but like I said, it's it's good for early stuff. We've got Setin going ships up here. I was trying to bomb it, but Magpie did have him covered with the air there. Uh, it's real nice because that dragon's eye survived, so we were able to get some pretty good intel right here. For, I feel like it was their most of the game. And I've also got one down here. But Magpie's not doing too much there. He's getting some fighters to help protect that shipyard. And then Sentin's also got some AA ships. Some uh, searchers or skeeters. Tides are 15. Not terrible, but they work. 
Unfortunately, there's too much AA for a small bombing rush. I could have come through the center. Uh, we still have Magpie's planes to deal with, and then it would have been a longer trek. So I, I really needed to just get some more air cover. Really get rid of these fighters would have helped me out a bunch. Magpie getting some Twilights up on the island here. That'll be real nice. Um, Twilights are hard to raid because you out of sight, out of mind. But they'll also throw up some jamming for the center area. And I'm really just trying to get rid of all his um, aircraft there. Secure a place for a bombing run, it probably. Yeah. I probably did shoot me out of the air though, but we do have some bombers going. He get another searcher up. Just in time, another one coming out. He also has that Sam. Close, close. So I had brought maybe two more bombers, I'd have got it. I had that one go around, which which was a mistake. <laughs> I was really trying hard. It was kinda sucked. I failed to bomb out Magpie's <laughs> air plant. And I he, despite knowing he was building that shipyard from the start, I failed to bomb it out, which was a bummer. It's very close though. We've got Magpie doing similar stuff here. Barely, barely missed that shipyard. It was down to a sliver. He's getting a nice foothold here in the center. He's got a couple Twilights. Uh, some defenders, like nothing huge, but we're not in the best position to take that out. I'm really focused on the, uh, the shipyard at this point. And then trying to keep Twilight's shipyard as well. Twilight does have ships up now though, so he will be able to kind of grab that center. Well, maybe not grab the center, but he'll be able to stop Magpie from getting it. We've got a little ship push here from Seton trying to take out that shipyard. Uh, luckily he does have a blocker up here, and he did have a jellyfish which helped out before it died. <laughs> That blocker probably helped out a bunch though. We got more bombers coming in. They're really trying hard to get this shipyard. Looks like he's got his muskrat and probably his commander over here repairing it. More bombers coming in from Magpie. What am I doing? I'm also trying to bomb out the shipyard and getting some coastal defenses up. Uh, some some fighters right now to help protect Twilight Shipyard would be really nice. Luckily he he's doing pretty well on his <laughs> on his own. <laughs> I feel like I should have helped out a little bit more though. He's pretty much glued there. He did get a sub out. Um, really nice timing too. Magpie just started to put up a shipyard of his own and his commander is undefended in the water here. I guess Satin is over here helping out. Did a decent a bit, blah, 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 decent bit of damage to that enforcer. Uh, so he backed off. He's trying to come in with the sub here to get rid of this shipyard. But Twilight does get a sub of his own out, as well as that jellyfish backup. Uh, Resource-wise, looks like I'm getting a second air plant going. Um, Mostly running off of solars with maybe one, one or two, just one advanced solar. Twilight does have a geo up, which will help out a bunch. Um, or it is helping out a bunch. I should be working on getting my own, but I'm not. And he's just doing some sub stuff right now, trying to harass. Magpie did get his shipyard up. <coughs> Excuse me. But... He doesn't have anything to defend. Uh, sending construction ships out probably would have been better to do a crusade, crusader or a sub first. Um, but he will lose this shipyard. Still trying to come in and bomb, <laughs> bomb Sentence shipyard, but it's just not working out. He's getting um, too strong of a foothold. We do have Twilight up here doing what I can't, though. 
So, <laughs> so it works out. I am finally helping protect his shipyard with fighters, so there's that. We've got hovers going up from Magpie. Really strong choice on this map. Especially since most is like naval and air going back and forth. Hovers. I mean, you can see lots of bombers. I'm getting hovers of my own up. But there's not much defenses in the way of... Um, not much ground defenses that except for the stuff directly on the front here. And I really have way less than... Um, Mag, uh, Twilight does. Hover against them is also looking like a pretty strong option. Twilight does manage to get that shipyard down and pretty much clear setting out of the water. And I believe at this point, yeah, we can still see all of this. So we have a pretty good idea of what's going on in this corner. Tried to bomb that max and failed miserably. So we've got fighters and bombers. We've got magpie pumping out some um, some radar jammers and some radar hovers. And it looks like he's going with uh, a long range tactic with these. Probably we'll get some wombats and uh, um, artillery. I can't remember the artillery name. Wombats are basically. Uh, Merles, and then I, I don't remember the artillery name, but he's getting some wombats out, so he's going for a more long range approach, which would be really nice against Twilight's defensive line here. We've got Sutton putting up an another shipyard, not an advanced, barely managed. <laughs> Barely managed to keep that. I just keep failing to bomb his stuff out. And we've got um, Magpie making a move with these hovers. Trying to bomb out what I can. I got the radar stuff, so that should make him think twice at the very least. Since he'd be going in blind. and does manage to keep his shipyard. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to the subs. He's got one sub there. They probably got a um, bomb them maybe. Oh, the depth charge, the jellyfish here. So we've got the uh, hovers building up from Magpie again. I did, I did take out those radar ones. I don't think he's built more. A Mosser, that's the artillery. We've got a ship push coming in from Twilight. He happened to find Magpie's commander, which not the best, not the best, but not the worst. He, he might be able to kill it here. Nah, Magpie retreated out close. <laughs> Magpie was really close. I feel like if Twilight had focused a little more, he might have lost his ships to these bombers, but he definitely would have got that commander. Got a lot of gunships coming in trying to get these Merles out, but they all got <laughs> they all got hit by a missile and blew up at once. I got out of there quick. Looks like I'm getting some hovers of my own out as well now. Um, Twilight's beefing up defenses a little bit more back here. That, that's me, actually. Just waiting for hovers to come in. Trying to clear these twilights out. He did still have two up there. Twilight coming in to grab these. And we do have advanced naval going up from Seton. We were still able to barely see that, but we were still able to see that through our um, dragon's eye there. It was tempting to um, shell it out, but there was resistance, and I didn't. I lost most of my ground units. I might be able to get it here though. Looks like we cleared that out. The commander is standing by though, 
So I head the other way and try to thin out Magpie's hover for us here. He's got a pretty mean force. I mean, if he came up top here, I'd I'd be I'd probably be in a little bit of trouble. It looks like he already cleared out my defenses. He just didn't have skirmish units to push forward, I guess. I mean, he could have still pushed forward with Merles and did some things. I did have some fighters to attack with. Twilight is in the water, so he might be able to do something. Uh, even the subs, he could definitely direct fire or force, force fire the subs to hit the hovers. Really trying to get rid of this advanced shipyard. It's so close, too. We've got more subs coming out. And we've got some Garpikes from Twilight as well. Looks like he's trying to board the land there. Lots of hovers here from Magpie. Mostly anti-air, which... Not unwarranted, apparently. That was a lot of... <laughs> that was a lot of Banshees, and they just disappeared. I feel like he could do some serious damage with us. Like, I don't really have defenses over here. I'm getting a Guardian up. I do have a Harpoon that I could... A couple harpoons I could try to manually kill some with, but I mean, it's not going to stop him. He could. He's being a little too skittish, I feel. I, <laughs> I have three ski. Oop. I have three skeeters. He could definitely take those out with his army and push forward. There's not much up here. Even with the AA, I mean, he could come up. He could get the. Uh, the air plant probably I don't know where my commander's at looks like he's pushing on twilight um, probably trying to take out that shipyard which isn't bad uh, he lost most of his long-range units though he does manage to get those gar pikes so that's nice trying to scrounge up whatever hovers I can at this point to help out. Metal-wise, um, I'm a, sitting at about 20, Magpie's sitting about 12, Sutton's got 18, and Twilight's got 23. Sutton's kind of bouncing around, he's probably reclaiming. He's got lots to reclaim. Yeah, you see, I mean, he just completely erased what we sent at him there. If he just came up through here, I mean, I'm building defenses, it's... But he could have pushed through and just shot right to the back of the base and started to take all this out. Uh, and he could have swooped down to Twilight here. His commander is is in range, so it might be a little bit harder, but he could have done a decent amount of damage to me. I'm already doing too much as it is. I'm barely getting, barely getting these hovers out. He's he's managed to keep a pretty sizable force. I think they're all gone. Ah, I'm sorry. I missed. I missed it. He um, he came in. He looks like he got that shipyard, but probably got taken out by all the uh, all the defenses here. So I wouldn't say it's a total loss. I wouldn't say that's a total loss. He did a pretty good job at getting rid of that. We do have the advanced naval up, and he's getting an executioner. We've got Twilight trying some transport things. Um, I wonder what he's got. I think he's got Shodens in there. Sentin gets that executioner out just in time to uh, destroy that transport there. Yeah, it looks like he's piling Shodens in his transports. He is out of a shipyard now, though. So now Sutton's the only one in the water, and he does have advanced. Twilight's hastily getting his shipyard back up. But Sutton is pretty low on energy to try and do advanced things. Uh, it looks like he's working on curing that right now. 
Magpie just pumping out more hovers. Lots of radar jammers. Um, not a bad thing, but I feel like it's quite a few. They're only good until you know the. <laughs> They're only good until you know the hovers exist, right? Like once you once you've seen them, it doesn't matter if you kill the one jammer that's with them. Trying to move up since most of the forces have been lost, hoping to do some kind of damage, but I run right into Magpie's commander. Did manage to get a couple jellyfish out. And I missed it. <laughs> I think that was a transport. I think Twilight did another transport with Shodens. I'm just not paying enough attention right now. I think they just got the Just trying to bomb out the uh, the wreckage from him. Yeah, looks like Magpie got rid of that dragon's eye. So we no longer have sight up here. But I feel like we're in a pretty good position. Um, we just knocked Seton out of the water, and that was most of his base. So right now, they're just resources. He has... He doesn't actually have a plant. It looks like he... We either got rid of his vehicle plant. I might have bombed it out, I wonder. Or he reclaimed it. I'm just wreaking havoc with a lone bomber. Uh, their air defense is lacking at the moment. I probably could do lots of things with gunships. Did I... Looks like I either sucked up or lost my other air plant. We've got more, more transport stuff going on with Twilight. Huge group of anacondas here. Uh, <laughs> trying to just be cannon fodder while the transport takes them out. Because they'd probably do a pretty good job of getting rid of that. I think he got degunned anyways, though. Keeps running into that commander. Twilight probably should have came up here. I feel like, well, I wouldn't really go head on with that group. He does keep running into the uh, transports Twilight's doing, though. The uh, the Shodans in the transport, because it has firing ports, so it, it's actually working out really nicely. And he does go right at the defenses. I know those transports were causing quite a bit of grief. I'm blocking his transport. I know the transports were causing quite a bit of grief, so I do get it, but that group of anacondas could have ruled right through my base. They would have had the commander to worry about, but he could have rolled right through the top there. Looks like we did manage to take out that Geo. Um, that one looked like it really affected much. They're both still sitting on a lot of energy there. And we've got hovers coming out from Setting here. So he's got a little gimp for defense. Getting some constructors out, rebuilding his resources. Magpie trying to get some micro fusions up. I'm surprised I hadn't built any micro fusions yet. <laughs> I've had hovers for a while. Some teamwork there to get rid of that commander. So now that we've got Magpie's commander down, there's not really much defending the coast here. I know he was causing a lot of grief. We've got Sentence commander up top now. Looks like he's <clears throat> excuse me. Looks like he's fixing to just you know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Insert <laughs> them off. I'm 
Magpie trying to reclaim the Envoy. And we did manage to sacrifice another transport to get Sentence Commander. So now they really don't have much. The commanders were holding them back pretty decently. What am I... I think I was taking out mines. I think that's what they said. Something about mines. Their lack of energy. It must have been, it was probably set in his minds because he doesn't have energy. But at this point, looks like I'm getting advanced air. But I mean, I could put those resources into a force to end it, really. We've got thunderbolts going up. Some scouts. I, I remember this moment. I was like, I should be making gunships because my scouts are just flying free. Probably switch to gunships with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Seton taking a page from Twilight's book. He's got a hover transport with gimps in it. Um, The hover transport can only hold like six units, but it does have firing ports. Unfortunately, six gimps don't really compare to however many shodens he's got in there. Let's find out. Can I erase this stuff? I can. Cool. We've got Magpie coming up to bomb the transport. And he stopped with just enough. He's... Wow. He's... <laughs> got a sliver a sliver of HP it's the I think I saw him pull back that's probably what it was that's a lot of Shodan so yeah like 10 Shodans and a Wolverine with a uh, Jeffy and the uh, I mean they really don't have anything to stop the Shodans All in all, I thought that was a pretty good game. Um, that Dragon's Eye gave us really valuable intel. We were able to pretty much see Satin's every move. Because he, he built his base right there. <gasps> Excuse me, sorry. He built his base right there. Um, I think if Magpie had... If they had both worked together... Um, like if Seton did some ship things, even even if it was just Skeeters, uh, sub whatever, and Magpie sent his hovers up top here. You can't see any of that. <laughs> he sent his hovers up top here. He really would. They really would have been able to do some damage. Seton could have secured the coast. I mean, you can't get too close to Twilight's base here because the the jellyfish. He's got blocker, Punisher. Um, but this Guardian didn't go up for quite a while. Magpie could have came in, rode right through, and, you know, it's hard to say what would happen. It's a small, small map, so the commander might have been able to stop them. But hovers are fast enough that he could have zipped past. Might have gotten half of them or whatever, but he did have, like, a lot of murals. He probably could have taken my commander easily if they um, knew where he was. And he had like six, seven murals at one point. And then um, if I tried to get close, Seton could have had ships, submarines, whatever, what have you. And if I tried to run away, well, you can't outrun a wombat. So I think I think that would have been real nice. I mean, losing my commander, I, I don't think it would have been huge. But if I lost my commander, they would have been able to come in a lot easier and just take out my base and then... From there, I mean, there's not much ground defense on the actual land because the map, I mean, it's mostly if you let them pass your coast, you're probably in trouble. <laughs> but I think that that was one path they could have taken to get rid of us. The advanced naval was a good idea. Could have won them the game. But it 
it's not a very heavy resource map so it did cost them quite a bit of resources i mean right now we're sitting at about 25 metal each uh, average which is enough to go advance but when your opponent's pumping out units on a small map like this it's it's a big risk especially if you know they're um or not even if you know especially if your enemy has line of sight on your advance they know that you're making the transition so you're going to be more vulnerable at that point um there, there were a few things like once subs were in the water magpie should have probably built a jellyfish to protect his shipyard he was trying to put up if they had gotten that shipyard up i think that also could have done a lot of damage because then you have two people in the water with ships oh well, toilet did get an advanced shipyard at the end there um because if they had two people in the water that would have been pretty rough because if they could could have kicked us out of the water we would have been in a decent bit of trouble there because you have your your destroyers and they pretty much would lock down like this i would imagine pretty much where that line is or the uh the grass line we wouldn't be able to build anything past there it'd be a it'd be pretty rough and that'd leave them to all the water metal all the island metal the game would not have lasted long if they kicked us out of the water now nah, it's good on twilight i suppose i'll pause this i don't have too much more to say but um that jellyfish i think was crucial in <laughs> in stopping um them from having total water control because Seton was in the water really early luckily we had that jellyfish and he got a blocker up and I don't it doesn't look like maybe we'll get the end screen now I don't know doesn't look like we're getting the end screen all in all though I thought it was pretty well played um but yeah I know I say I'm a lot I apologize <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.